In this video, we'll be talking about the built-in website builder of Empro. Now, in order to access that, what you'll need to do is log into your Empro account and then go to the dashboard. And then after that, click here on the sidebar on website builder. There you will be greeted on the splash page on two easy steps how to create your own website. And then just click on this button and you will be redirected to the website template selector. There we go. So as you can see, we have a lot of templates right now. If you don't want to build or start a website from scratch, so you can just select one. So, so let's say I will be selecting this first one. And let's say I want to check if it's suitable for me or if I like the design. So just click on preview here. And then you will be redirected to the preview screen. So here you can select which size you want to check. So if you want to check what it would look like on a computer, you can click here. And this is what it would look like on a tablet. This is what it would look like, or in a phone. This is what it would look like. So there we go. So let's say I've made up my mind and I want to use this template. Now what I'll do is go back to the selector, click on build, and then it will redirect me to the site editor. Now the site editor can be used by anyone, even if you don't have any coding knowledge. So even if you just want to design it on your own without hiring any website developer, you can do that. Now let's go by one by one here to check what this website builder can do. Now up here is your quick tools. So if you want to check what it would look like, it's still above here. Here we go. Now, if you want to search the editor, so let's say you want to check editor actions like copy, add copyright. Uh, if you want to find any help articles that's related to website builder, you can find it here. And uh, it's a really, really cohesive tool to help you further on designing your website. Now, here is just some info. So this is what would you check if you want to modify your website further so you can check you can change your site name the status if it's published or not published the preview link when someone enters it here on your url bar and uh, the stats so this is only available for published sites but this will show you uh, your traffic, your engagements. Uh, you can even change the editor language here. Here we go. Now this will. Now the next one will tell you if all the changes that you've done is saved. So for the peace of mind, let's say you have a weak internet signal. And uh, you want to check if all of the changes you've done is saved. You can check it here. Uh, this is the redo and undo button. Uh, this is the preview again. So once again, the sizes are here. Go. Uh, so once you're done on the preview, you could either copy the preview link to get other people's opinion or go back to the editor or publish it. So let's go back to the editor for now. Okay, now that we're back on the editor, uh, you can click here on the question mark for more details, for more help, as you can see. So this is the help center. You could check for any tutorials, any video library. Here we go. Then 
once we go back to the editor itself, you can always go back to your dashboard. So let's say you're managing two or three websites at a time. You can go back to your dashboard. And this is what will show. So if you have a lot of websites, you can see them here. You can see their quick stats. And if you have any forms on that website, you can see their responses. Okay. Now I will be discussing the editor on a separate video. So this is just a quick overview of what the website builder can do. If you need any more in-depth information, please use our resources. And I hope this video helps.